Hi, it's Cayman Reynolds, and let's get back into this colony for the last time. I'm really excited to be able to show you this. I cannot believe that it has done as well that it, as it has. It's just been uh, crazy. Now, for those of you who have been watching for a while, this one washed 94 Varroa mites in an alcohol wash of 300 bees. Unfortunately, the bees were sacrificed, but we were able to learn a lot from it and also realize just how bad the infestation was. I'm going to leave a link up here to where you can watch the original video, and there's also some other videos that go along with it. I think there's about four or five, but basically, we did five rounds of oxalic acid vapor in 21 days, and it only reduced the mites down to about 32 in alcohol wash, which is good, and that's basically what I've been seeing over the last several years of testing, about 40-odd colonies at a time, that I'm getting somewhere between a 70 and 80% kill doing five rounds of oxalic acid vapor in a 21-day period on a colony that's brooding normally. Now, if the colonies aren't brooding quite as heavily, it seems to do better, which makes sense. We'll talk about that more in another video. But whether you're using oxalic acid vapor or any treatment, make sure that if your mites are high, that you are doing what you need to do to help protect your bees. Because we did all this work, which at the end, we did eight rounds of oxalic acid vapor and two apivar strips. And this colony went into winter with about two and a half to three frames of bees. We also requeened this colony and we probably fed it three or four gallons of syrup since fall. And uh, they, they survived and actually they've been growing. I've been very impressed that the viruses didn't take them out because they were showing signs of deformed wing virus. So let's see what's going on. You can see I've got them in the eight frame box because they outgrew the nuke box. There, some people will say that's that really helped them out reducing them into that small box and I think it does help but some colonies just won't do won't grow no matter what you stick them in all right now keep in mind we have some much much larger colonies that didn't need half the work you can see all the feed down in here the syrup there's a couple little floats down in there and the bees are just working their way down and sucking up that syrup and bringing it to the nest and typically we are not feeding this time of the year our big colonies definitely still don't need feed they're just eating some of the nectar that they've brought in, but my goodness, these little colonies have had to be babied. We fed so much in the fall because the fall was terrible. Spring has not been good at all to us. It was pretty good in March, but April was, whew, and May is off to a bad start. Nothing you can do about it, except keep an eye on your bees and take care of them as best you can. All right, so this is mostly just syrup but that's really good I mean look at those bees they look really clean and let's flip this over and the lighting is poor I apologize for that there is eggs on that side okay we're going to scoot over to the next frame oh nice look at that brood pattern right there now, of course, this is one of our queens, but still, I mean, our, our queens aren't just miracle queens that you can just chuck them in a high mite load colony and fix them up. We had to knock those mites back down to where they weren't being able to be red at all. We did three alcohol washes on this colony, and uh, look at that over here. Very good bit of brood still. You can see that there is some nectar in between. That's why some of those are missed. There's also pollen down in some of those. That one's got pollen in it. I don't think you can see it, Laura, with the lighting and all that stuff. Got some drone brood down in here. That's pretty good. We've also had some really, really cold weather. And I'll say this. Um, European fowl brood. We haven't had like, oh my goodness, there's just, our colonies are going backwards from it. But I have seen more European fowl brood this year than I ever have before. And you just see spotty little bits. But it's just due to the lack of nutrition. A lot of trees have gotten frosted and just weren't producing pollen. What do we have down in here? So we got a lot of eggs. Looking really good. We have some more capped brood. And there's bees hatching out right there. You know, I wouldn't say this colony is 100% better by any means. 
but they're actually making forward progress. Look at this bee though right here. Look how tiny that bee is. Oops. There's something wrong with that bee. So this colony still has some viruses or something. But we're still taking care of them. I know the mite levels are down. I've checked those. They're not an issue. This is another undersized bee right here. It's almost half the size that it should be. So, you know, we're still seeing virus symptoms in here. I'm hoping that this good nutrition that we're supposed to be having right now is going to clean some of that up. And I'm tempted to do a complete brood break and just see if that'll help get out of their system a little bit as well. But, uh, you know, I just really, really recommend that you all focus on never, ever letting your colonies get high mite loads. I feel like a lot of beekeepers, I know I have, let it get out of hand. This one was intentionally so. I cannot believe that they actually have made some forward progress and are building up a little bit. So I don't know exactly what all will come of this. But I just kind of wanted to share with you, and there's a good bit of capped brood over here. It's not perfect. But so far, so good. Anyways, we'll check one more out over here. And I'm going to have to add another box on here before too long because there is just so many. Wow, okay, wow. So we got a little bit of cap stuff over here. doesn't look quite as good. Lots of food stuff, pollen down in there. But over on this side, look at that capped brood over here. Pretty good bit of capped brood. So once all of this emerges, this population is going to really go through the roof and there's not going to be any any room. This, this colony is going to swarm or something, so we're going to have to put another box on. I'm, I've, I'm a little bit tired today. I've been up pretty early this morning, and it's been cold, and if I, the rain finally let up. This is all just bee bread and stuff. You know, I didn't even think to look out for the queen. We've, I, I've gone through every frame, so she's probably on one of those frames over there. But I just kind of wanted to share with you what's going on. I doubt I'll do another video on this colony. Maybe, maybe, maybe a long time down the road. I'm going to try to move on to some other things. Try to shrink the channel up a little bit. Focus a little bit more on, I think, what is the most important things, which is mites. Raising your own queens in your backyard. I don't trust those commercial operations. I don't think anybody probably should. And... Uh, so, and then nutrition, focusing on all those little things. And there's a lot that we can talk about there, a lot of nuances that we can spend our time. And I think that's going to help people out more. And I just really want to focus on that. Swarm control, a lot of people have been asking for that. So I've been doing a lot of, you know, little videos here and there on some things. But I really feel like I need to shrink the channel up a little bit and focus it a little bit more on to just... We're doing a good job with the main things that people really need the most. Now I'm sure we'll throw in some videos here and there, but you know we're uh, I don't know what 100% what direction we're going to do this year. This this weather has been a little bit tedious. All right, I'm just going to shake these bees out right here because this is a frame of sugar syrup, and there's eggs on this side, of course. But so we'll just stick this one back. Sugar syrup on this other side and drop it down in there. I know you're supposed to put them back the same way. So that's what some people say. And it is preferred probably to do that, but I don't always do that. Anyways, so we're going to smoke these bees back down, get them out of the way. They still have a good bit of syrup down in there. And once all that brood emerges, they are going to really need another box. We put a lot of work into this colony, a lot of feed, a lot of time, and we're not going to make any honey off of this colony this year. This is why you need to get ahead of the issues before they arise, especially when it comes to the mites and the nutrition. And queens too. Never can have too many good queens. So anyways, I'll stop preaching. Hope you all are 
doing well, your season, honey flow does great. Thanks for watching the video.